Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. People often ask me here on YouTube and by email how I learned Django so well. I thought I could create a video where I explain it to all of you at once and here it is. I was introduced to Django when it was released back in 2005-2006. I watched a video conference called Snakes and Rubies where they talked about Django and Ruby on Rails. I was really impressed with the talk about Django. Adrian made a great talk about the framework. After the video I played around with both of the frameworks but Django quickly became my favorite. I already knew basic Python so I understood much of the Django code. I learned the basics and built a couple of small projects. After a few years I built the biggest project I had done so far. This was a website called Finn and Freelancer which is Norwegian for find a freelancer. So it was basically a Norwegian version of Elance, Guru and similar. I learned a lot during this process and it was a really cool project to build. A few years after this I built a new really big project using Django. This was a project called Finfido. This is kind of an Amber Alert web application for lost and found pets. I also built an API for the same application which I used to build an iPhone and Android app. So most of my knowledge has come from building different projects. Each time I start something new, I try to think of new features I can implement so I can learn even more. For the API I built, I had to learn a lot about JSON and security. What I think has made me learn most of the Django I know is actually making videos about the subject. Because when I make videos, I need to explain many different things in my own words. This makes it stick better in my head. When I go through someone else's tutorials, I like to play around with the code. I use different variable names, different values, changing the function names, etc. Doing this makes it easier to understand why things are done and how. People learn differently. And the best way for me is to learn by doing and making it stick better by explaining things in my own words. So this sums up what I've done to learn Django. This also applies to everything else I know. I learn by doing and become even better when I try to teach others about it. And that's it. If you like this video, please click like below and share it with your friends. See you in the next video.